consider the way you store paper prints, articles, memos and stuff like that. You put them in a box and put a label on the box to know what's in it. Tags are a different idea to find things when you need them. You don't put content in a box. You put tags on your content. To find what you've stored, you call the tag that describes best what you're looking for. In Web 2.0, Tagging is a very typical and very important method to give structure to knowledge. So, what is a tag? A tag is a non-hierarchical keyword assigned to a piece of content. What tags are used for can best be shown on Flickr. I uploaded some pictures recently, but this one I have not tagged yet. It shows a flip chart I drew in a seminar about the EU institutions. I click on add a tag and find important help telling me to separate tags with spaces on Flickr. Choose from your tags is another help. It makes tagging faster and easier. I enter my tags and click add. Clicking on this tag now gives me all pictures I uploaded and tagged with European Parliament. But Flickr goes further and with one more click I can list all pics of all Flickr users tagged with that keyword. On YouTube tags are somewhat hidden. You have to expand this collapsed area to see the tags. Like here on this video about a guided tour in Salzburg. SlideShare a service to share presentations uses tags in the same way. Here are the tags of this presentation about Web 2.0 in education. Clicking on education gives me a list of all presentations to that topic that are uploaded to SlideShare. Finally, let's look on tags and blogging. This blog of Scottish literacy advisor Bill Boyd shows like many blocks, the famous tag cloud in the sidebar. Tags are smaller or bigger according to their frequency. On moving my mouse over the link literacy, the blogging software shows how many blog posts are tagged with that link. Clicking on it gives me all blog posts Bill Boyd has tagged with literacy. Now, what are good tags? Good tags do refer to meaningful content. Whoever uses your tag should find something helpful. Good tags do not jam keyword lists with useless results. Don't bother the user of your tags with content that has no meaning in regard to your keyword. Last not least a simple but important note. Separate your tags in the right manner spaces or commas depending on the system you use. Happy tagging!